What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So, I wanna let you guys know, obviously I pulled the trigger and got a 3D printer, very happy with this thing. Uh, I did a lot of research on it and I watched a lot of YouTubers that do 3D channels, as far as 3D printed channels, whatnot. And these are the channels that I use to get my information from when it comes to even just putting this thing together. So, first off, if you are new and you're looking to get one of these, this is the guy I would recommend you check out his video on it. So, I just have it written down here, which is Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. So, he talks about, you know, making sure everything's nice and straight, so how to build it, what you want to do before, basically, you want to look at it. I feel like this kind of like, it's going to put you in the right direction. Everything's going to get lined up really well. You're going to know a little bit more. Uh, he's even just as far as these roller wheels, not to have it too snug, whatever, and uh, get you straight. And then the next critical thing after you, all this is the bed level. So making sure this is right. So using a piece of paper, making sure that it, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to put the, his video in there. So if you are new to, you know, maybe you're a subscriber of OMGRC and you're like, hey man, I'd like to get a 3D printer as well. So I think these guys are going to be key to success when it comes to getting your first few prints off without a snag, you know, as far as going to definitely help you understand a little bit more. So uh, I use Chep, which is like Filament Friday. It's a little toolkit that he offers. It's like 40 bucks on, um, where else? Uh, <laughs> Amazon. Do I, did I think I needed it? I don't know if I really needed it right now. I do have other tools and stuff, and it already comes with tools like the little scraper, but this one has, um, a digital caliper so when you want to create something or need to know the thickness of something I think it's going to be critical you can pick that up like Harbor Freight or whatever so um, but if you don't have really many tools this might be the ideal way to go as far as this little kit so it's got lots of stuff in there um, so Chep is a good one to look at as far as on YouTube and also like teaching tech I thought he was really good as well so like I'll put all three youtubers but I think the critical one that I found the most success in as of right now, just starting out, was the uh, Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. So really good on that one. All right, so let's get into, I'm using the filament. So let me go ahead and just show you. I'm gonna put some little videos in here too, so that way you guys can see as it was being created. Now here's the actual little toolbox that I printed, and I'll show you that little video clip as well. Uh, like the on I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know why it didn't come out as far as the O on it exactly it seemed to be maybe too small and that's why I couldn't print that part of it so you know again this is one of my first prints so this is my very first one here this little knob so here's the filament that I did choose this thing it was like 20 oh sorry it's like 35 bucks on Amazon you get two spools like this guy here but it was already shrink wrapped or whatever so it's vacuum sealed I just put it in a little bag here just to kind of keep the moisture out. And then I have the desiccate packs in here too. Um, so yeah, 35 bucks PLA that I'm using. This one came, it was clear and I was like, oh, I didn't really want that. But actually I found out that might be good that I have a clear one. And then I actually, and then I printed this little piece here. This just helps help with the um, filament. I know it's black there, so it's hard to see it. But anyway, this is the filament there and then it right goes into here and I did see videos on that little brass piece or whatnot that was just plastic and it was wearing it out as far as the filament going in there in there so that's been upgraded apparently so very nice on that one um, yeah just kind of doing research on it so I use like Cura 4.5 as as my slicer so th there's all kinds of stuff um, a lot of stuff I'm not 100% sure on and I'm just trying things as I go but so far I've been pretty successful using the, as far as just a little bit of knowledge that I've gained on a 3D printing. Uh, give me some feedback. What do you guys think about this anyhow? But I'm gonna be building that uh, 10 scale garage here soon and I wanna have some items to go in there. So I'm already using, I think it's Thinkerverse. Think of, anyway, it's another website you can go to and you can download stuff. So if I didn't say it right, you guys can correct me on that one. But anyway, I just wanna kinda give you guys just a little background on what was going on here. But it is cool if you guys want to see maybe a little bit of a video on you know creating one of these or some background as far as how I kind of got started with it. And you guys drop a comment and uh, let me know. 
But anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We're not selling these, unfortunately, unless uh, Corrali wants to uh, give me some affiliate links or something like that. But anyway, appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next video real soon. You guys take care. Thank you again. And don't forget to share this with your friends. All right, peace.